Good morning guys! So today is day 14, the final day of my potato reset and I'm super excited. <laughs> So today I wanted to cover the wrapping up of the potato reset talk. Um, I want to go over my successes, my failures or my losses, um, my measurements and weight loss and all that kind of stuff, and if I will be doing a potato reset again. So let's start with the wins because it's a positive note. So, I have three major wins for the potato reset. Bless you! <laughs> what are you doing, so? Are you playing with yourself? Huh? Are you throwing yourself your toy? Anyways. Just gonna play on the bed. Um, win number one. I have all but curbed my junk food cravings for now. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about them when I talk about if I will be doing the potato reset again. But um, before the potato reset, I had a major junk food addiction. Um, it pretty much was the reason that I wasn't losing any weight, even though I did switch to a vegan diet um, about six months ago, five months ago. But at night, bless you, when I was watching TV or, you know, Netflix and chill, um, I would either have one of two things, really. One was pistachios. Uh, they were, like, I could eat a quarter of a bag, like, one of the big bags, um, in one night. I love pistachios. And the other one was vegan Ben and Jerry's, because let's be honest, it's delicious. The peanut butter cup, no, P PB cookie? I think it's called PB cookie. Um, basically has a peanut butter swirl and Oreo pieces is amazing and I also like the double fudge brownie and well I don't need to get into all of that but Ben and Jerry's was my major downfall I could eat an entire pint in one night so um I really don't have those like uncontrollable cravings now and that is like that's huge um, so win number two is incorporating more vegetables into my diet, which was one of my major, like, reasons for doing the potato reset in the first place. So I am very happy that I am more easily putting vegetables in my meals. I think that's the word. Um, but with the curry, I really find it that I like that it's that I like it to be vegetable rich. Um, I like a lot of different vegetables and I'll, like I just like the majority of my curry to be vegetables instead of sweet potatoes, which was really surprising for me to find out about myself. Um, and when I had a salad at the Christmas dinner the other night um, without any dressing or anything on it, I found that I really liked the taste of the vegetables, which before it just, just it was just, eh. Like, I didn't dislike them, but I also didn't, like, love them. Um, but I'm more attuned to the taste in vegetables now, and they seem more palatable for me. Um, so, win number three was my weight loss, or as I will call it, my mass loss. But we'll talk about that more when I talk about measurements. Um, so, the... Three major losses for me were 
really having an urge to cheat on the potato reset. Um, not with junk foods or anything processed or anything, just like with whole foods, like whole plant-based foods. So I really had cravings for rice. Girls, please stop. I had cravings for rice and for basically it was just rice and beans and avocado. Um, because the majority of girls, girls, anyways, because the majority of my diet before starting the potato reset was rice and beans and avocados. Um, I had basically burritos every single day, although I did add vegan cheese onto them, which was a very unhealthy, but I think I'll be very satisfied now with just having the plain like whole foods with some seasonings instead of adding all the extras. So my, I don't, I don't know I'm counting as a loss, um, but that's one thing um, that was like, I don't know, a downside? I don't know. I don't, I don't even count it as a downside. Whatever, it is what it is. Um, that could also be counted as a win, I guess. Craving whole plant foods. So, anyways, loss number two was my planned cheat meal with my husband, Shane, when we went to dinner and ate sushi. Um, and the third one was not getting enough water. Um, so I really planned to up my water intake and be drinking two liters a day, but that just didn't happen. And that's something that I'm gonna change going into my whole food plant-based month in January. So enough of the wins and losses. Um, my weight, no, my mass loss is gonna be depicted by my measurements which I will post on the screen right here. And I just wanted to say right here that you're not really gonna see a big difference because I am bigger, but I can tell a change in my body. And so yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's in two weeks, like 14 days of eating potatoes and vegetables and having a cheat meal with, that had rice in it um, and avocado so I'm very very happy it was breaking a plateau for me so I'm ecstatic um, so going forward I hope to see more of that kind of loss and so where do I go from here um, like I said I'm going to be doing a whole food plant-based month in January and I will be incorporating into that a system where I use a 25 ounce container for my water and I'll know that I have to get in four of those every single day so it'll be easier for me to actively track my water and just know that I'm getting what I need to be getting in. Ah, sorry about that guys. I had a coughing fit. Um, I still have strep throat. Anyways, um, so will I be doing the potato reset again? The answer is yes and no. I will not be doing another long potato reset. Um, not anything longer than seven days because I really don't think it's sustainable for me. And I don't want to like have to do anything longer term that isn't sustainable in the long, long run. So no, I will not be doing another long term potato reset but if in the future I have like more than three cravings in a week for a sweet or a salty food, then yes, I will be putting into place a seven day reset. And if that occurs, then you guys will see it because I will vlog every single day of that one as well. Let you guys know what I'm eating at every single meal. So you'll be able to see if that happens or not. And that's it guys. I am, oh my goodness, Sophia. I am so excited for this to finally be over and for all the Christmas parties and all the Christmas get togethers and seeing my family to finally be happening. Um, that's really what this, the end of the potato reset means to me is that all this Christmas stuff is coming up and I'm super excited about it. 
but I will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, I will be uploading a video tomorrow. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right there to make sure that you catch it and my future videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video and for supporting me on my journey. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.